All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. I'm doing a series of video presentations for the Rankin Technical College AWD Application and Web Development 1111.NET Framework with Web Databases class. And the book for the class is actually Lee Naylor's um, ASP.NET MVC with Entity Framework and CSS. Decided before going into that book that I'm going to go through another book, which is an online. You'll have a free online copy. You can see it on screen here. It's by John Galloway and others. And it's called Professional ASP.NET MVC. Some of the examples used in that book are based off of a Microsoft um, application that Galloway and others wrote several years ago called the MVC Music Store. So I've decided before doing anything else, I'm going to go over that entire project. So I very quickly went over this overview. In fact, I didn't even do that. Uh, that's what I'm going to do now. But I went over this to let you know the 10 parts of it. So I'm going to jump right into the overview. Now, with a, a couple things to note as we get started. First of all, this is based on ASP.NET MVC 3, which was created several years ago. So some of the screenshots, some of the options, etc., that are shown in here have changed over time. So please be leery and cognizant of that. All right, that's the first thing. The second thing is, um, as we go through it, some stuff may or may not work because it may have been set up to work in MVC 3. It may not work in MVC 5. We'll take a look at it as we go, though. So I'm going to work off of this one here. And as you can see, this is a tutorial app that introduces and explains step-by-step -step how to use ASP.NET MVC and Visual Studio for web development. I'm going to do this lockstep with the class. So even though I'm creating it now, I'm going to do it again in the classroom. All right, that's my plan at least. So it's a lightweight sample store application that sells albums online. It'll allow us to have basic site administration. All right. The user can sign in and there'll be a shopping cart. Now the shopping cart is unbelievably simplistic. Everything is free in the store. So there's no PayPal or anything like that. All right. Part one, as it says, is just an overview. So it says we'll be starting slowly. Okay, and there's three main parts to this application. Creating the shopping cart, creating the checkout, and doing the admin page. You are actually, yours is going to look very similar to this. In fact, all of this. You'll be provided with the, the different, uh, I'll make sure you're provided with the different um, images, etc. that you need. So don't worry about that. But some of the stuff that you'll be able to do. You'll be able to come in and browse different albums based on the genre. So notice jazz was chosen here, so these will be your jazz items. If you chose blues, this would say blues albums, and these would be your blues albums, etc. You can click on an individual album, and if you so desire, then you can add that album to your shopping cart. If you decide you don't want that album, you can click over here and remove it. You can also add more than one copy of the same album if you want to do that. And you'll notice it keeps a running total here. So you're going to see all of that as we go on. Then when you say you want to check out, you'll go to a checkout. All right. And you'll be able to do all this stuff anonymously. But once you go to checkout, you'll have to set up an account. So you'll have to register unless you already have an account. All right. We'll keep this again very simple. Once you've done all that stuff and you've registered, you know, and you get in, it'll show you what's, uh, you know, you'll come in here, log on. Well, you don't have an account, so you'll have to go and register for an account. Username, email address, etc. So as it says, to, after creating the account, you can complete your order by filling out this information. But again, everything in here is free. So... Don't, you know, don't let that throw you really one way or the other. It's going to work out just fine. All right. 
after you order, you're going to get a confirmation screen. And it'll come up with a number for you, an order number. And it says here, how about shopping some more, where you can go back again if you want to do so. After we get done creating that, we'll also work on an admin page where administrators can either create new albums, all right, or new album categories, edit existing ones, or delete existing ones. So the rest of this, the next one half, one, two, about four and a half pages or so for part one of this is just building the new project. Again, we will do this as a class. But again, it says here you can download the completed app. You can do that, but that's MVC3. All right. So we're not worrying about this stuff. We're not using that. We're going to come in here and do this. We are to call this MVC Music Store. As you can see, big M, little VC, big M, little USIC, big S, little T-O-R-E. We're going to follow as much as we can everything that we're asked to do in here. So copy. I'm going to come back in, start up a new project, new project. All right, again, under Visual C Sharp Web, we will choose ASP.NET Web Application, and we will call this MVC Music Store. All right, now, if I, it, you, you heard that. If I get an error here, I'll get an error because something by that name already exists. All right, so we've done that. You can already see, if you look online here, this looks different, all right? Because, you know, MVC2 and ours is not that. So we will select empty. There is no view engine. So I'll show you exactly what we will select in just a moment, all right? That is, we will come in here. We will select MVC, all right? Right there, we can click the add unit test. That's just fine. We will make sure this is set to individual user accounts, which it is. We do not care about Microsoft Azure. All right, right now we don't care about that at all. So that's basically what we have to do in there. And we click OK. That's going to create the project for us. And what you'll see when you look in the Project Explorer that's on the right-hand side of your screen, this is just a dummy page, so we'll close that. But you'll notice in here we have a Content folder, a Controllers folder, a Models folder, a Scripts folder, and a Views folder. All right? So this is not an empty template. There is a basic folder structure that's added here. Now, you, you, you may have seen this if you watch these a little bit out of order, but, okay, this is what we have. We've got a controllers folder. The controller responds to browser inputs. So once you go and you key something into the browser, all right, once you go and you key in into the browser um, an address and you hit enter, the controller is designed to respond to that. It decides what to do with that. Typically, it's going to call a model. It doesn't have to, but typically, that's what's going to happen. Typically, then, it'll get information back from the model and decide which view or views it has to call. But again, it doesn't have to do that. All right? Notice there's, so there's a controllers folder, a views folder for our, typically, our HTML, models folder, which is going to hold our data source and our rules about the data, our content folder, which will hold CSS and images. Our scripts folder, which will hold our JavaScript files. And there's even a couple more things. All right. And we'll get into those as we get going. And as the author says here, these folders are included even in an empty ASP.NET MVC application because it uses this convention over configuration. It sets up a default structure for you based on 
the naming conventions that are typically used. And there's no reason for us to change these as we go on. So that's it for the end of part one. In part two, which I'll go over in just a moment, we will go over controllers. And again, this is done very, very, very simplistically. So we're going to go and do this as though you have no experience whatsoever. And we'll keep going, and if we do run into any problem, we'll see if we can rectify that problem. Okay? I'll be back with part two in just a couple minutes.